Claire Kamalski, um, staff coordinator for Campus Kitchen. Dr. Drake and I applied for a micro mission grant through the university um, to bring in some guest speakers and food for this class to sort of celebrate people working for food justice in the city of Detroit in different ways. I was raised in my grandfather's grocery store. Back then, people ate meat, bacon, squash, turnips, but they were more cheaper than anything else. Uh, and the community itself was a community because uh, you would have people coming in with horse and buggies selling their products, greens, vegetables, or whatever. Uh, the fish man would come in, he would sell fish, fresh fish, fresh fish. I did all that as a kid. Uh, I've been in the bar restaurant business for 51 years. And uh, during the holiday season, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, I usually feed the homeless. And I usually feed, I think this year we fed, Thanksgiving we fed almost 300 people. A look into Detroit history and, and you know how it has changed in particular was the food business but it also it gave that personal lens where you had that family where you had him like 50 years as you said in the industry with his granddaughter and he sort of reflected on you know how things had changed especially with, with Eastern Market and, and the people that are visiting. And this was sort of an additional layer to it. now this, that the students are here that they're part of Detroit Mercy that they're part of this community that they also get that opportunity to, to learn more about that community that they're now as a potential like like what we were doing that was maybe different than what students are experiencing in other courses is like really tapping into that that urban context of our mission I get them to engage with the topic or with the topic of learning how to write through a topic that they're genuinely interested in such as food or you know whatever comes off it food waste composting, um, you know, how to be a healthy vegetarian. It gets students interested in that topic. It teaches them also how to write, which is the ultimate goal of a class, but it gets them there in a fun way rather than just having them say, oh, you know, it's a writing class. <laughs>